Welcome back, everyone. Today we're testing Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Sword on Eden Emulator V0.3. With this new update, performance and stability keep improving, but how well do these Pokemon titles actually run on Android? Now, a quick note. Pokemon Scarlet version 4.0 is currently unstable on Eden, so I had to downgrade to version 3.0.1, which runs a bit more stable but still comes with random crashes. To make it work, you'll also need the Yanu Patcher to properly apply the latest updates. On the other hand, Pokemon Sword feels more stable overall, though we'll still look out for performance hiccups and minor glitches during gameplay. So let's dive in and see how these adventures perform on Eden V0.0.3. And here are the settings I'm currently using on Eden Emulator. For this test, I'm sticking with the standard build along with the Mr. Purple drivers, which so far give me a decent balance of performance and stability. But of course, emulator setups can vary a lot depending on your device. If you've discovered settings or tweaks that work even better than mine, don't hesitate to share them in the comments. I'd love to try them out, and it could also help others in our community get the best experience possible. Let's start our first test with Pokemon Sword on Eden Emulator version 0.3. This game still holds up as one of the most polished Pokemon experiences, with its familiar gym battles, open routes, and the iconic Dynamax feature. Running on Eden, the overall performance is surprisingly smooth. Battles load without major issues, and exploration in the wild area feels responsive, though you might notice occasional frame drops when the map gets crowded with Pokemon. Visuals look clean, and the emulator handles textures well without major glitches. Audio is stable, so the soundtrack and battle effects come through just as they should. Compared to newer Pokémon titles like Scarlet and Violet, Sword feels more stable on Eden at this point, making it a solid choice if you're looking to enjoy a classic adventure without too many crashes. So pay close attention to this game test, my friends. Watch how the gameplay flows, how stable the battles are, and where the emulator struggles. These details matter if you're planning to play Pokemon Sword on Eden. With every update, Eden V0.0.3 brings us closer to a smoother Pokemon experience on Android. Definitely worth checking out if you want a more reliable journey in the Galar region.
Now let's dive into Pokemon Scarlet on Eden Emulator version 0.3. The game boots up successfully, but stability remains one of the biggest issues. On the latest Scarlet version v4.0, the emulator struggles heavily. Random crashes and freezing make it nearly unplayable. That's why I downgraded to version 3.0.1, which is a bit more stable. Even then, crashes still appear, and performance is far from smooth. During exploration in the open world, you'll notice frame rate drops, sometimes dipping very low in crowded or high-detail areas. Graphics glitches also appear occasionally, affecting shadows, textures, and lighting, which can break immersion. Battles are mostly stable, but random slowdowns can still happen. Another key point is that Scarlet and Violet require the Yanu patcher for updates. Without it, the game won't boot properly on Eden. With the patch applied, you can at least experience the game, though don't expect a flawless run. Overall, Pokemon Scarlet is in a playable but unstable state on Eden emulator. It's impressive to see this open-world Pokemon title running at all on Android hardware, but clearly, more optimization is needed. For now, I'd recommend it only for those who are curious to test, not for a smooth gameplay experience. And remember, these are my Eden settings. I'm using Eden Standard together with Mr. Purple Drivers. If you have better settings or tweaks that improve Scarlet, let me know in the comments so we can test them out together. And that wraps up our full review of Pokemon Scarlet on Eden Emulator version 00.0.3. While it's exciting to finally test this open-world Pokemon game on mobile, the glitches, FPS drops, and random crashes remind us that it's still far from perfect. Still, every update brings us closer to smoother performance and better playability. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Eden Emulator game tests, and share your own settings in the comments. I'd love to see how your setup performs. This has been another Eden test session, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned, gamers.